Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. I'm in Lisbon, Connecticut right now, walking down a path parallel to the Chetucket River. Across the river is Taffville, the Taffville section of Norwich, Connecticut. I'm basically going down to an area called Chetucket Falls. Take a look at the uh, Chetucket River. It's very low due to the severe drought conditions that we're experiencing right now. But my goal today is to take a look at this Chetucket, what used to be Chetucket Falls. It's not Chetucket, it's still Chetucket Falls, but there are no falls. It's basically, uh, from what I understand, bone dry. All right, here's the back of it. All right, we can actually take a walk down this area. Wow, kind of a breezy day. Got to be real careful around here. Normally people don't walk around here because this is uh, underwater, but eh, as you can see, pizza boxes and uh, I don't know, twisted tea cans. There's a look up river, the Chetucket River, across, across the river is, uh, I don't know, I think those are apartments or condos or something, but that's Taftville. And right now I'm walking where water would be, I don't know, waist high or maybe over my head. I have no idea, but it would be pretty deep. But this drought is uh, drying everything up dramatically in dramatic fashion. And I'm trying to record a lot of, uh, get as much video as I can for historic preservation purposes, basically. Straight ahead is Panema Mill. Um, I don't know what they did. It used to be maybe a textile mill or, or something way back, probably the early 1900s, maybe the late 1800s, I'm not sure. But uh, now it's been completely restored into beautiful apartments. And it's, uh, one of the most beautiful restorations I've ever seen in this area, in Norwich, in the Norwich area, since I've been living here. I'm walking on the, <laughs> there's a sign right there, Danger Dam, keep 300 feet away. That's for boats. I mean, I'm gonna, let me pan over here a little bit. This is a pond that is just sitting there. It's normally, uh, you know, part of the river, but frame this up. It's a pond. It's it's a stagnant pond. If there's any fish in there, they're landlocked. I mean, look at all this. Uh, these tr big trees. I guess somebody sawed all this to pieces relatively, re relatively recently, I would think. Man, oh man, look at this. I mean, I, I, I'm Right now, I w obviously, I wouldn't be able to be on this on this spot, this location, because it's a, there would be a huge waterfall right here. But I'm on top of the dam. I'm going to tilt this camera down, and this would be really this exact spot I'm standing on right now would be um, impossible due to the fact that. A large waterfall. As far as I know, it's called Chetucket Falls. I, I, I don't know, you know, I've tried to research it a little bit, but I think that's what I can come up with Chetucket Falls based on my internet research. I gotta be careful because if I s don't watch my step here, I'm uh, in deep trouble. The water down here looks really stagnant, it's, it's kind of brown and, and muddy and this big, huge 
trees. I don't know what these trees are doing here. Let's take a walk down towards Panema Mill, walking across this entire um, dam. This is uh, a dam with a beautiful waterfall would be flowing. I have a video on YouTube right now as we speak, if you want to go look for it, entitled Chetucket Falls, and it shows the waterfalls. A beautiful, uh, beautiful waterfall when it's functioning. This drought is just putting a dramatic hurt on everything. Let's do another pan back here. Gentlemen out there kayaking. It's a beautiful view upriver of the Chetucket River. I might be, I don't know if I'm in, technically, I might be in Taffville right now. I don't know. Maybe halfway down the center of this uh, Chautauqua River could, in theory, put me in Taffville. From Lisbon to Taffville. There's crows down here. Let's get a shot of that Panema. This is a vantage point that I didn't think I'd ever have. I've absolutely, positively never had it in my life because I'm, you know, I've never, I never thought it would have a drought so severe that puts me on top of the Chetucket Falls dam area. I'm not going to do anything crazy like there's a ladder in front of me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to climb up the ladder and see what's up there, although it is tempting, but uh, this is an unusual uh, situation we got here. Somebody put the head of a, like a baby doll up there. All right, there's a, there's a wide view of what would be really a raging, depending on the time of the season or time of year and the amount of rainfall we had, have had at that time. Um, it would be really a beautiful scene right there. Right now, the water, I mean, the water, it's not even brown. It's a, I don't know, orangey, stagnant situation we got going down there. There's another shot of Panema Mills. I just want to kind of grab that because it's so rare. All right. I mean, <laughs> I'm walking around areas that were Previously impossible. I don't want to sink. It's a little... This is uncharted territory. There's an old bottle right there. That's kind of indicative of... Uh, bottles all over the place around here. It's a big... It's not a chain, but a piece of... Uh, a metal cord that at one time looks like it held... A large, I don't know, maybe a foot bridge, but it's the foot bridge looks all rotted out. I'm gonna try to get down to the water. It's not muddy, but it is a little bit. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. I would say soft. All right, a bunch of metal right there. Big giant. Let's get right down to the water level here. Get a shot of this, uh, let's get a shot of the Chetucket River, right there. We got a plane going overhead right now, you can hear up there. Okay, there's another section of the river. This thing is, uh, this mill used to generate power. I'm not going to go too far over here, it's just a mess with these, uh, that footbridge would be close to impossible to navigate right now. If you kind of trace those bushes and shrubs and flowers and weeds and everything, that's uh, where that footbridge goes. But I'm gonna work my way back up along this uh, 
this dam. This is, I've seen some people down here today with skateboards. A really nice gentleman uh, was kayaking out there today. He's having a good time. He might be doing some fishing. Um, there's a you know, nice little boat launch down here at the, on, the, on the Lisbon side. Look at this. These weeds or these, this grass. Yeah, let's point this thing straight down. I gotta be, you know, if I, again, if I slip or something, I'm, there's a little bit of water down there. It's not budging. It's basically a puddle. All of that would be a beautiful waterfall, but it isn't due to this severe drought. Some more of that that weed or it looks like hay or something growing up there. Man, oh man. There's rain in the forecast tomorrow, from my understanding, but it's uh, not even a half an inch is forecast, so it's nowhere near enough. We need uh, we need substantial, sustained rain over the course of several days or longer to restore what's been lost. Another shot. I'm gonna take a walk down there too if I can. Again, I gotta I gotta watch my step because there's like metal rings and, and just you know cast iron or or, or iron um, I don't know what they are. Looks like ties of some sort. You could probably anchor something. There's a sign of that, uh, that dam. Right now I'm working my way back to where I was. Whoa. Again, I do not want to slip and fall. Yeah, I'll get a side view right up against this side of this dam. I point this thing down a river. There's some old factories down there. I guess they're going to redo those into either apartments or condos or whatever. There's another real wide shot of the Panema Mill way down there. Let's see if I can work my way back. All right, work my way around this thing. I don't know if it's possible to go around here or not. I'm going to try. Whoa. It's kind of slippery. Not in the sense of things are wet, but the fact that I'm climbing over a tree branch now. It's not it's not muddy or anything. There's a little bit of mud, but it's mostly like sandy, dry. Let me get under this. Let's look up the side of this uh, big tree stump. Sorry about the camera shake here. I'm climbing over a tree. I'll go up the side of this thing. All right. I'm on another section of the of the dam. Let's get right down to the water level here. That's a landlocked portion of the 
Chetucket River. Right now. I don't know if I want to climb too far up on this uh, dam. All right, yeah, it's safe enough. Right down there, water would be flowing right now. Still, I have to, there's all kind of rusty, disintegrated metal and particles all over the place up here. Due to the fact that all this uh, metal is now exposed another shot. Kind of a wide shot, Panema Mill. Stagnant downstream. Big huge Chetucket Falls. Bone dry. Alright, let me work my way around this giant tree, see if I can get out of here. to another section, take a look around. Ooh, this is uh, <laughs> unstable as far as walking over this, uh, walking over this, this mess of rocks, sand, stone, trees, you name it. Climb over this thing. I apologize for any unsteady video. I'm holding a camera with one hand and climbing with the other. All right, here's a big tire sitting in the middle of Nowhere down here. All right, I have a gigantic tree to get around. Okay, let's see. I gotta watch out for poison ivy and all kind of other poisonous. Plants. I think I, I'm thinking I'm gonna be okay. There's a look. I was just down in that area right there. Do a little pan, a little sweep. There's a couple of people out there walking on top of the top of the dam right now. Let's get a shot of this other area. Another section. Oh, somebody left their fishing pole out here. That's broken. All right, some graffiti up here. I don't, know. I don't know how these guys got up here. This looks old. The graffiti looks pretty old. It's been there for a while. There's a massive chain on the ed edge of the what would be a big waterfall. I have no idea what that's all about. There's a shot right through the trees that broken down, downed giant tree. Work my way up. All right, we're Definitely in an elevated position right now. Let's see if I can get a nice pan of the whole area. Chautauqua River shooting across from Lisbon to Taffville, the Taffville section of the Chautauqua Falls area, which is completely dry, obviously. And Right now we're looking at Panema Mill. And there's a staircase here. All right, somebody spray painted this 2020. Let's go down this staircase. Old wooden staircase.
Okay, now, straight ahead, right there, these big rocks right in front of me, these boulders, used to be, last time I was down here, a beautiful waterfall flowing over that. That's not the case at the, at the moment, as you can see. There's another area where I gotta use extreme caution while walking around because these rocks, believe it or not, are slippery despite not being wet. They do have, some of them have kind of a, uh, I don't know what, you know, kind of a mossy, dried up mossy coating, which uh, can be problematic if you step on it on a steep angle. All right, here's, <laughs> there's a trickle of water coming under this, uh, I can actually hear down the, to my left, a slight trickle. Birds chirping in the background. Okay, I gotta figure out a way to get down here. All right. I am in an area that is uh, formerly impossible for me to get to unless I was, you know, had maybe scuba diving equipment or something on. Let's, let's take a look at the current. I'm gonna zoom in on the current state of the Chetucket waterfall. Let's see if I can get this thing down in there. There it is. That's the Chetucket waterfall right there. Okay, take a cruise down. I mean, I'm in uncharted territory. This is not uh, formally passable by uh, a person walking around, you know, on an average day. This is uh, this is the area where a waterfall would be raging right now. A beautiful waterfall, by the way. As I climb over more rocks to make my way slowly but surely onto this big, I don't know, cement, concrete kind of a platform deck. I'm not a I'm not a bridge expert or anything of that nature. This is an old bridge, a, a dam. Look at that, there's some moisture trickling out of there, but that's, uh, that's it, a drop. Let's take a walk towards, I'm in Lisbon now, walking toward Taftville again. Probably the halfway point around here is, uh, I would assume is the cutoff. All right, some, Moisture right there on the ground, if you can, if you can make that out. A couple of guys up top there. Okay, there's a a metal. You know, iron, kind of a zigzagging hunk of iron down the, the center of this dam. That could be the separation point between Lisbon and, and Taffel, Norwich, the, you know, the Taffel section of Norwich. Because the, uh, as you can see, the dam looks a lot different. Although I don't know why that would be the case, but I don't know what you're going to find out here. The golf ball. Uh, 
that I'm standing right below where there would be a huge waterfall cascading on top of my head. That's got to be 25 feet straight up. That's, I'm, I'm guessing, that's, that's, uh, my guess is 25 feet. Okay, let's see here. There's some big metal chute going right down here feeding. I'm not going to walk on it. It's tempting, but it, it leads down to a... I wonder if I should. I always say I'm not going to do stuff and I end up doing it. All right, let's, I'm walking down this chute. If it collapses, um, I'm going to have a big problem. So far, so good. Wow, it leads down to very, a very foul-smelling, extremely stagnant, if there's such thing as extremely stagnant, um, area of, I don't know, yellow, orange, yellow. There it is, right there. Let me pan across this thing. This is highly unusual. That could be just the heat, stagnant water, and I don't know, algae or some form of. Uh, there's another unique view of Panema Mill. Let's, let me frame this up. Panema Mill, the stagnant pond. Let's get it all in here. And Panema Mill on the edge of the the dam, and we'll walk back up this metallic waterway. Some of this uh, bottom portion of this dam is completely disintegrated away. Good time for, you know, people that inspect these, uh, these dams to take a look at things because how many chances do you get to walk where I'm walking? Not many. The side of the dam some ladders and fencing up there. If I went up this road, it would lead to the back of Panema Mill. Let me get another shot of that right there. The big towers and it's a, it's a flawless restoration. Whoever did it, whatever company did that, did a phenomenal, spectacular job. All right, let me let me work my way back. I'll do some get some wide panning shots of this uh, area if I don't fall down. Get some low angle stuff here. Some shots for you. Never thought I'd be down here doing what I'm doing right now, but there it is. What used to be a waterfall, Chetucket Waterfall. In the middle of a severe drought. That's what it looks like to the naked eye. All in all, I'll say this uh, dam, this uh, stone structure, I don't know when it was built, but it looks to be in really good condition. I mean, there's a few areas back there with some degradation in the concrete, but not bad. These uh, big boulders that and giant stones and rocks that compile this uh, construction of this dam look to be in really good condition. Let me uh, 
I gotta figure out. There's, a, there's kind of a puddle, if you can see it on the ground right there. And in that puddle area is very slippery due to that uh, kind of mossy. Let me get over here a little bit. Okay. Let me pan from this area. There we go. Your motorcycle's off in the distance. There's a there's another wide shot. It's kind of warm right now. Um, probably at least 85 degrees. Humidity. Motorcycle's off in the distance. Let me work my way back here. Got a couple of guys hiking around. Can't say I blame them. And I'm going to work my way out of here very carefully climbing over these stones. All right. Let me see if I can get down to that water. I don't know. It might not be worth it walk around this way. Try to get down closer to the river. All right. So I concentrate heavily on every step I take. I work my way down to the water. Walking on areas that were never possible until now. What about never? We've had droughts in the past, but this one is uh, one of the worst in my memory. Whoa. My balance. All right, it's a little oily down here. I don't know if that's, yeah, it looks like, it could be oil, it could be, again, some kind of an algae uh, film. Let me see if I can get closer to that water. Put this thing right down. There you go. Right down against the water's edge. It's brown. It's not moving, it's just the breeze is kind of moving it around a little bit, but it's not flowing, let's put it that way. Another shot of the Panema Mill way off in the distance. The shot of that dam from a, I was, I had an elevated position before. Right now I would say I'm uh, almost in a, in a kind of a trench-like area looking up at the dam. All right, let's see if I can work my way out of here. If there's any camera shake, again, it's due to the fact that I'm climbing over big boulders and holding a camera with one hand, so it's, uh, it's a little dicey. All right, let me stand right here. I gotta pan this thing again. Get the whole sweep. Of this. Chetucket Falls area. Panema Mills. And this is the hill I'm going to be walking up right now. If all goes well. I'll make it unscathed. Yeah, it's getting uh, more humid. 
feels quite humid right now compared to when I first stepped out of the car. That could be an illusion because I had air conditioning on in the car, so. All right, let's go back up these stairs. I mean, I could walk down river and, should I do that? Let's, all right, let's just take a quick, I'm not gonna go far. I have no idea what's down here. Mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack it in, I think, right? Nah, I'm not gonna go down there any further. Just throw this thing in reverse. Let's ascend the staircase. Get another super wide view. From up top. Alright, do another pan. Should talk a river. Right there. To give you a little sense of scale, there's a couple of guys walking on that, on the bottom of that, uh, where the waterfall would be, that Chituckee waterfall. So you can see the size of the, of the dam in relation to a, uh, a person. Panema Mills in the background. Gorgeous. It's a nice day. Take like a walk back up the trail towards the car. And then we'll conclude this uh, this walk. You gotta be careful, there's a lot of bees living in the ground. So you don't want to step on top of one of those uh, those areas. But there is a very nice trail that comes down here. If you want to come down and take a look at Chautucket Falls now, it's very interesting. Or in the future, when the water level is back up, there'll be a big waterfall down there. It's really beautiful. as we walk down this uh, gravelly dirt road. There's a tree downed over here. You make it very tough for a vehicle to get under that. It's been down for a while, it's rotted out. path narrows a little bit right in this area as we approach the parking lot. There's a nice boat launch down here. You can throw a kayak in there, a canoe, a small boat. Do some fishing out there in the Chetucket River. a nice quiet area. All right, I'm going to take a look down at the river. Let's get one last shot of this thing before we shut down. There's a big sign over here. Let's see if we can see it. It says, Danger Dam, keep 300 feet away. That's for boats, okay. 
That's how crazy things are right now. You can walk right down. My, my foot is on this metal. It looks like an I-beam that's holding this uh, sign up. There's a beautiful shot. Do one final pan before I close up shop here. And you can see through the trees, Panema Mills. Thanks for joining me, folks.